Hi everyone, my name is Sandeep and I'm going to walk you through BGP rule of synchronization and I'm going to cover some practicals in this uh, video. So let's start quickly. I'm going to use a GNS3 to demonstrate the BGP synchronization. Before we start with this, let's understand before we start with this, let's understand our topology. I'm going to take a screenshot of this before we start and then I'm going to tell you. Okay, so we have got basically five routers one router is in autonomous system 200 this side one router is in autonomous system 300 this is the other side and we have the BGP running in autonomous system 100 so let's consider this is our one customer and this is our second customer and we have service provider running this uh, BGP right so uh, let's understand how we are going to build this topology. I am going to form an IBGP neighborship between router 1 and router 3 and I am going to run BGP autonomous system 100 between this router 1 and router 3. Please understand that we are not going to build the BGP between router 1 and router 2, neither router 2 and router 3. Okay. So when we advertise this route 200.1.1.0 from router 4 towards the router 1, okay, so the router 1 is going to take this route and then going to advertise this route via the IBGP to router 3. Okay, so here we are running the OSPF routing protocol as an interior uh, gateway protocol between router 1, router 2 and router 3. However, we are not going to redistribute this route into the IGP yet to understand the rule of synchronization. Okay, So the route which is coming from router 4 to router 1, now that's got advertised from router 1 to router 3. right? So router 3 is going to advertise this route here. Basically, it should work this way. However, the BGP rule of synchronization says that if you learn any route from any third party autonomous system, you are not supposed to advertise this route here. Okay, so the router 3 received this route 200.1.1.0 to router 1. Router 1 is going to advertise this route to router 3, and router 3 is going to advertise it to router 5. However, router 5 is, I mean, however, the router 3 is not going to advertise this route because the rule of synchronization. In fact, you could uh, see that even if, uh, you know, let, let's consider um, this route gets propagated to router 5, okay, and router 5 is trying to reach uh, to this destination, 200.111. So what would happen is that he will try to reach here, okay, on router 3. And router 3 is going to send this um, route to the router 1. However, the physical path is this way, right? So router 2, the packet comes with the source from router 5, then the destination will be 200.111. So when the packet reaches at router 2, it is going to drop the packet because router 2 doesn't know where the route 200.1.1.0 is. Okay, so let's understand now the same thing in Cisco terminologies, what it defines, what is the route reflector shows, means, okay, so uh, I mean uh, synchronization means, synchronization states that if your autonomous system passes traffic from another autonomous system to third party autonomous system, so in our scenario, let's say, our autonomous system number is AS100. We are learning route from router 4 and we are passing it to third party that is router 5. Okay, BGP should not advertise a route before all the routers in your autonomous system have learned about this 
the route via IGP, which means that router 3 should not advertise this route to router 5 unless you learn this same route from any of the IGP. IGP can be static route, it could be OSPF, it could be EIGRP or any, any routing protocol. So in our topology, we are going to use OSPF as our IGP. So, um, you know, if you want to um, tell what is the rule of synchronization, the rule of synchronization tells that if you are learning a route from any autonomous system and you are advertising it to third autonomous system, then that particular route should be learned from the IGP. Okay. So this is the rule of synchronization. So what? Uh, th there's some more explanation here. BGP waits until the IGP has propagated a route within the autonomous uh, autonomous system. Then BGP advertise the route to external. So let's say in our topology, the same topology 200.1.1.0 is now learnt on router one, which is getting advertised into OSPF. I mean, I'm going to redistribute this route into OSPF. This route is learned by via router two now, and the same route is learned via router three. Router three forwards this packet to router five, and this is going to work absolutely fine because when router five is going to send the packet to router three, router three sends to router two. Router two knows how to get to 200.1.1.0 because this route is learned via OSPF, right? Okay, so I hope that that um, that basic got um, clear for you, right? Okay, so what we will do is we will start configuring this now, and we'll go from there.